All right, ladies and gents, let us start it up. Uh, hang on a second. The standings. So, once again, the driver standings. Lewis Hamilton in the lead. 48 points ahead of Sebastian Vettel, who did not have a good qualifying. But the Constructors is up in the air because Renault, with a 1-2 in qualifying, only 21 points behind Mercedes. If they can finish 1-2, we might be able to catch them right here, right now. Because Hartley, Hartley is all the way down there in 6th. All right, so ladies and gentlemen... Let's start it up. Monza. It's an all Renault front row. I love seeing that. Ricardo and Rosberg locking out the front row. Second row, Lewis Hamilton. Carlos Sainz in the McLaren. What? Valtteri Bottas in the Toro Rosso, along with Joseph Newgarden in the Williams. Wow, qualifying was crazy. George Russell in the Williams. Sergio Perez in the Racing Point. Sebastian Vettel in ninth. I wonder how long it's going to take for him to get back up there. I wouldn't say too long. Joel Erickson alongside of him. Felipe Nasser, the other Ferrari, all the way back there. Alongside of Marcus Erickson. Max Verstappen. Arguably the fastest car on the grid right now with the top speed on this track. All the way back there in 13th. So, boys, Verstappen and Vettel. And Hartley back here in 17th with Gasly in 18th. Oh, geez, they really screwed up their race. But I'm very interested to see how fast they catch back up because this is the track to do it. All right, William six and seven, I know. How crazy was qualifying. So here we go, one and two, Ricardo and Rosberg. Let's see what happens. Who gets to start? And it's lights out, and Rosberg with an amazing start. He jumps off the line. All right, that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. Relax it now, boys, and just drive. And where's Hamilton! Hamilton screwed up. Hamilton all the way back into eighth. This is beautiful. He has already been passed by Felipe Nasser. Where is Vettel? Where's Vettel? Vettel's all the way back in 17th. Oh, this has been just a great race for us. An absolute great start. A dream start for Renault. The two Ferraris are back here. The, 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 the closest rival is Lewis Hamilton in 10th, baby. And he is battling a Red Bull which is Pierre Gasly, but here he comes. Here comes the speed of Mercedes and Red Bull. Look at this long straight, boys. They are blast. I don't know what happened in turn one. They may have had a mistake, but Hamilton using that top speed of the Mercedes, just blasting by the McLaren. Next up is the Haas and Ericsson. Oh my, no, that's not, uh, that's not, that's Porsche. What am I talking about? That's Porsche. And Hamilton is back up into third, boys. Verstappen up into eighth. Yep, this is one of those tracks where top speed is everything. All right, so save your tires, boys. Rosberg, a great start. Ricardo, a great start as well. Save your damn tires. 85% for both of them. We want these suckers to last as long as possible. Let those other guys push. I'm giving you guys the engine right now, so that should improve their morale. It should give them the speed that they need. All right, let's see what they can do. So, Rosberg, a 15-9. Ricardo, a 16-2. Hamilton, a 16-2. All right, so we're driving faster. Gasly, a 17-9. All right, so that lap is good. Keep an eye on uh, Lewis Hamilton. All right, so this is why I'm using this fuel right now because Hamilton's going to have to conserve some fuel because he was running in uh, overtake mode, which on Monza will really use up that fuel. It'll give you the pace that you need to. I mean, he passed everyone on that straight. But uh, I want consistency out of our two drivers. I want to leave it on uh, neutral for the driving style to conserve our uh, tires. But I want them to always have the fuel so that we can push that gap. Make sure that uh, once the rain comes, if we do decide to pit a little early, I don't get stuck behind any traffic. So get the hell out there, boys, on front. Rosberg, a 15-8. Ricardo a 16-1. Hamilton, a 16-3. So when Hamilton is not using fuel, we have a pace of two tenths faster than him. Good. Behind him, Pierre Gasly in fourth. Sebastian Vettel in fifth with a tire wear of 71%. Oh, Sebastian Vettel is in trouble with that chassis. Ferrari is just dropping him, or uh, just dropping horribly. Hartley went from 22nd to 8th. Yeah, I told you guys, this is the track where you're going to see car performance. All right? It's not about the best drivers on the grid. It's the best cars. Watch this. Watch Brendan Hartley right now. He's conserving, right? He's got the McLaren up next. Watch. He's going to go. He's just going to go right here. He's not even pushing. There you go. Here's a little fuel. All right. He just put in some fuel there. He's going to go right here. He's not even pushing. He should be pushing to try to get by. He's conserving. He's saving his tires. There you go. There's the fuel. He uses that fuel into the corner and, and just uses it the entire straight. He'll catch up. There you go, Hartley. Hartley trying. Yeah, he's conserving. All right. Good. So as long as he's conserving, that's good. Every car perhaps is conserving to try to get to the ring. We just got to make sure that we don't lock up at all. All right, so 
Rosberg. We can go another 17 laps, and we've already gone how many laps? Uh, five. Yeah, we're on we're on pace for about what it said. So just let's just relax. Ferrari will make multiple pits. That's da that damn chassis. Yeah, man, that damn chassis. The only thing that sucks is that like the um, the AI doesn't recognize that they have a shitty chassis. So maybe they should put on a harder tire set or something. But well, whatever. Oh, they got to do a better job with their uh, chassis in the off season. So Ricardo, Ricardo just did a 15.7. Rosberg a 15.6. Hamilton a 16.0. So right now we're doing a real good job just just getting that gap. All right, top speed right now is in our favor. They have to save their tire. Oh, Sebastian Vettel has crashed. Sebastian Vettel has bended here in Monza. Where have you seen that before? And his driver championship standings and chances take another hit. Vettel spins out here in Monza, and that's his race over. Oh, my God. The Italian fans are devastated, says 707 Jammin. Oh, my God. Forget about the extra pit stop. That is Ferrari's day, Dunzo. Oh my god. This day couldn't be any better for Renault. So even if we have some safety cars happening right now, you know, at the worst, we can beat anyone but Lewis Hamilton. Let's say Hamilton finds the pace all, all, all of a sudden. When, once he catches up, and you know, remember, we're a, a lap and a half of fuel down. Oh, and by the way, give me a, a fuel update. 42 times 0 .06, please. I'm going to need to know. Excuse me. Nasser's going to clutch it up and win the race? Yeah, I highly doubt that. Now, Ricardo and Rosberg, they're, they're doing a good job out front, saving their tires, just, just putting in some very good laps, getting just making sure that they get that gap so they can pit. We almost have a pit stop on Sainz and Hartley, which is good. 2.52 for fuel. All right, so we're getting to that point, but I want to I wanna keep on pushing. I want to keep on pushing right now. I want to keep on pushing. Red Bull have allowed, or to use team orders to allow Max Verstappen to pass Pierre Gasly for fourth. There you go. Here he comes. Here he comes. Perhaps the fastest car on the grid right now, Max Verstappen. We're going to see what his lap times look like once he gets some uh, some open air. He just did a 115.5, but he was behind Gasly. So let's see. Not this lap, but the next lap. All right. Don't worry, boys, for fuel. I'll be stopping around the, uh, the, two, the two mark, and we'll start conserving from there. Got to conserve a lot in the rain, but right now I want to continue this gap. I want to just push this gap as long as possible. And if Rosberg continues to uh, outlap Ricardo, then I can get a double stack in and not have to worry about a thing. All right, so Verstappen this time around does a 115.2. Yeah, Verstappen just went faster than both Rosberg and Ricardo, and he's not even pushing. So we have to watch out for this man. All right, Verstappen only 9.8 seconds off the lead with like 40 laps to go. Yeah, this is a race. If he gets a safety car as well, this is going to be a race. 2.52 for fuel. The rain is going to help us keep Verstappen off, but this is going to be a race. I want to see what kind of lap time he puts in right now. He's not even pushing, by the way. If he starts to use fuel, he might be going five tenths faster than us. Three or four tenths faster, at least. Because we're pushing. We've been pushing the entire time. All right, so we just did a 15-1 uh, and a 15-2. Verstappen comes across and does a 15-2, and he's not even pushing. Yep. So Verstappen is the fastest car. He's also got the morale right now. Thank God he was at the back of the pack, and we were able to get out on front of him. But watch out for uh, Verstappen, and watch out for Gasly. Hartley's back there in sixth. He got by Carlos Sainz and McLaren. And you have one, two, Renault, three, McLaren, four, five, Red Bull, and six, McLaren again. Uh, Nasser back there in the Ferrari doing everything he can, but Ferrari's tire wear down to 28%. Ferrari just does not have a car that is good on the tires this season, boys. They really threw their chances away. They have the performance. I might have to go to Ferrari after I bring Renault to the golden spot to try to get them a championship again. When was the last time Ferrari won? Like the Schumacher days or like, uh, yeah, because Alonso didn't win with Ferrari, did he? Felipe Massa didn't win with Ferrari, right? Wasn't it Schumacher? Good Lord. All right, so that's rough for Nasser. All right, so Rosberg, a 15-0. Ricardo, a 15-1. Hamilton, a 15-6. Verstappen, a 15-2. Man, look at Verstappen. Verstappen, Red Bull, really conserving those tires. Like, I think Red Bull's got a really good tire um, chassis for tire wear. Or Verstappen's really smooth, because he's got a 65%, 64%. How does he have that? Verstappen is just working those tires, and that's going to help his pace out as well. Oh, my God. Verstappen doing a real good job. Red Bull might be coming back, boys. 
Might be going back to the days where Red Bull was the best and uh, Ferrari was nowhere near the top. Well, not nowhere near the top, but <laughs> Vettel was beating Fernando Alonso simply because his car was way better. Ferrari last one with the horse and buggy. <laughs> Oh, 2007, Kimi Räikkönen. Yeah, that was it. I forgot about that. Kimi Räikkönen, this was the second stint with uh, Ferrari. Right, 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 right. Was Verstappen locked on his tires? No, no, no. He shouldn't have been like... I, we didn't lock up either. I think he's just... Red Bull has a better chassis. Remember, our tire wear was... Uh, what was our tire wear again? It was only like four and a half stars. His might be five stars, and his smoothness rating might be like 20. He might have a better smoothness than both Rosberg and Ricardo. But I think we're doing fine right now. We just got to get to the ring. As long as Hamilton is ahead of Verstappen, then we're making up time. We're still doing fine because we're lapping faster than Hamilton right now. It's only when Verstappen gets on front of Hamilton, then uh, that's when we're going to have an issue. What about Gasly, though? Gasly is not lapping faster than Hamilton. So I got to say, this, this, this race is shaping up to be absolutely perfect for Renault. Um, qualifying was great for us. The start of the race was great. Vettel is out. Hartley is still in there. Um, but now if Max Verstappen can also pass Lewis Hamilton and it's a it's a one-two finish for us and Lewis is not even on the podium Hell yeah, the amount of points that we'll make up we are actually if the race were to end right now We have a one-point lead over Mercedes boys. We are one point lead over Mercedes. You're gonna save fuel in the rain. Yeah, don't worry Rain is on its way. All right, so give me a fuel update by the way 35 times 0 0.06 I might have to just start saving fuel right now just to be safe we got that gap. I can even throw it down to real conserve fuel during these corner sectors. But um, having a car nice and light as well, that should give us that extra extra bit. 2.1, 2.1. All right, so we're, we're about right there. All right, the rain is coming as well. So let's just relax. Let's just make sure that we can go as long as possible on these tires. And let's start saving our fuel right now. 2.1. 13. What are you guys saying 13 for? It's because... Oh, 707 Jammin', very good, my man. 707 Jammin' just pointed out something to me, boys. I think I was wrong, or in fact, I know I was wrong now when Verstappen's tire wear. The reason Max Verstappen has fresher tires is because he didn't qualify in Q2. So he didn't have to start on uh, tires that he qualified on, on, right? Or he didn't make it to Q1, sorry. So he got a fresh set of super softs to start the race. Ah, thank you very much, 707. Okay, I get it. So Verstappen got to choose whatever tire he wanted, and he's starting to see the uh, the benefits from it. I told you, this is the track that you, if you're going to have to take like a, a track penalty or something like that, this is the track to do it. The rain is here. All right, so the rain is here. Still some grip on the track. All right, well, let's relax. Let's just, let's see what the computers do. I ain't going in until I know. All right, we have ourselves a good 10-second gap over Hamilton Verstappen. They're not going to do an undercut on one lap, all right? So, and remember, I made the mistake in Belgium when I went into the pits too quickly, and I came out in traffic. I want to go as long as possible right here. I'm 3.4 seconds behind Rosberg, which means I can do a double stack, all right? And do a safe pit stop for both guys. All right, so we're going now. Push the tires. Uh, how many more laps I got? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Push the tires eight laps. Uh, no, you know what? Let's not push the tires, because if, if I push the tires and all of a sudden I burn them up too much, no, I want these tires to go as long as possible. Roman Grosjean has spun. Yeah, there it is. Roman Grosjean still spinning out in the rain. I don't know why he's still in Formula 1. He's absolutely garbage. Although he did save our lives in uh, in uh, Belgium with that safety car. No, boys. I think right now we don't need to do anything other than let the two drivers do their thing. All right? Our strategy was in qualifying and the first stint with the fuel. Right now, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. We got some pitters. We got some guys going into the pits. Let's see. Uh, they could probably stay out a little longer on those tires as well. So that's interesting that he's going in. Felipe Nasser, you going in? You're at 68%. You going in? Yeah. So Felipe Nasser at 68% is going in. It's time to go in. It is time to go in. All right. Attack. Attack. Uh, Rossberg. We're going to go into the pits. Uh, we're going to come out on intermediates. There you go. Uh, we're going to have a safe pit stop. I don't need to screw anything up. We're not trying to undercut. We're not trying to do anything. Danny Rick. Intermediate tires. All right, safe pit stop. There you go. We don't need to screw anything up. Don't follow the Ferrari strategy. <laughs> no, I think everyone, I think the computer's pretty, uh, like once one team starts going in, I'm pretty sure everyone starts going in. Let's see, George Russell, yeah, he's going in. All these cars are going, yeah. It's, it's rain time, boys. It's rain time. Everyone's going in. Fernando Alonso's going in with 35%. I'm not chancing anything. I'm going in. All right, I'm going in right now. All right, so let's see if we get a good double stack here without holding up Danny Rick. Uh, we held up Danny Rick for uh, like a couple of tenths right there. Wasn't the greatest, 
but him having to go around. Verstappen is into the pits, and he has to get repairs. Verstappen has to get repairs. I mean, that's kind of good for us, but I was hoping that he would pass Hamilton. So don't worry about it. Uh, Rosberg. All right, we're going to relax. All right, Ricardo, we are going to relax. We are in second and third now with Pierre Gasly out in front. All right, Pierre Gasly decided to stay out for one lap on those super softs. Don't worry about it. All right, Rosberg is hot on his tail with a damp track, no grip. We should clearly be on the better tires. All right, you guys are going to know uh, based on how much ground we make up. This is a Red Bull. We should not be clearly faster than the Red Bull, but look how much ground we're making up. Yeah, it was the right call to get on the intermediates right there, boys. Gasly is losing so much time right now. You can see Rosberg is just so much faster than him. He's making up ground in every corner. Look, look, I'm almost past him. I made up like a good like two or three seconds, so he just lost that time. All right, so he's into the pits. Rosberg is back out in front, and Danny Rick right behind him, all right? Uh, Lewis Hamilton in there. Max Verstappen with the repairs. He is now all the way back in eighth. So we just got to make sure that we are driving faster than Lewis. All right, so Lewis just put in a 123.1. Now, Lewis is going to be pushing his tires. I could push my tires as well, but it looks like it might rain to the end here. 30 laps remaining, and these can go, so I want to conserve these. It might be raining. We might be on these inters all the way to the end, boys. Hang on a sec. All right. Yeah, we might be going to the end on these tires, which means burning them out right now. I can understand him wanting to catch up, but I don't really want to burn them out. And, uh, yeah, if he wants to make up some ground, fine. Remember, we're still way under fueled, so we should have the natural pace over him. And once he starts pushing his tires, he's going to ruin the tire wear. He's got a, he's got a what, a 3.2nd gap between him and uh, Ricardo. Roman Grosjean has just spun again. Fernando Alonso collides with... Oh, shit, Rosberg, are you behind? Oh, the spin. Oh, Jesus. Roman Grosjean just spun out again. Don't hit me, Roman Grosjean. Get the hell out of here. Grosjean has been given a drive-through penalty for causing a collision with Fernando Alonso. Please, Grosjean, don't screw me over here, my man. Just let me get past. Just let me get past. Blue flag. Blue flag. Blue flag. Go into the pits. Please. Just get out of my way. Oh, my God, Daniel Ricciardo. <laughs> Imagine. This is, this is too good to pass up, man. A 1-2 finish would be amazing. We would make up ground on Mercedes, although now that Hamilton is back in third. Yeah, and Verstappen, see, Hartley passed Verstappen now. So they would still have a one-point lead, but I don't care. This is a lot of points that we're making up. All right, so Hamilton just did a 16-1. We did 16 twos. I'm fine with that pace. I am fine with that pace because he's going to have to conserve. See, now he has to conserve, and when he conserves, we should overtake him. Um, I can leave these, uh, these tires in neutral for right now. When they start to cool down, then I'll start to push again, but we want these tires to last, so let's just let's just calm her down here, boys. Calm her down. How is he so bad? Uh, remember, it's a mod, so I think it's a joke by the uh, by the guys who are modding. Like, they just give him... Let's see. Hang on a second. Where is he? Grosjean. He might have something where in wet conditions he gets zero or something. Who knows? Roman Grosjean. I'm pretty sure it's just the mods doing that. Fuel is good, right? Uh, give me a fuel update. 27. 27 times 0 0.06, please. We should be good for fuel. Remember, I can always go down to low in the final few laps just to get it. Um, I, but I want to be as light as possible all the way to the end. That's the whole point. 1.62? Yeah, we're good, boys. We have about uh, 0.12 of fuel that we have to spare. All right, and that'll be used at the end of the race, maybe when it dries out. But for right now, our two drivers driving at a form of 10 and a form of 9.8. We'll just let them do their thing. This strategy, it, was, it was, wasn't brilliant strategy. It was almost like everything's fallen into our lap. And we didn't screw it up. Felipe Nasser is spun. Felipe Nasser collides with Sean Galil. Oh, Ferrari, bring back Charles Leclerc. My goodness gracious. Hates wet weather and hates inters. Oh, that's what it is. He hates them. Is that the update? <laughs> All right, so Rosberg and Ricardo. Just going around. I could even fast forward a little bit, but I don't want to tempt fate. All right, Rosberg coming up with some back markers. Don't screw me up, McLaren. I don't need a crash here. Just get by him. There you go. Clean pass, Rosberg. That's what I want to see. Clean pass. Is Nasser coming out of the pits? Get by Nasser. Get by Nasser, Rosberg. Get by Nasser, Rosberg. Get by Nasser. There we go. We got by him. Ricardo did not get by Nasser. Oh, he did. Good. Ricardo got by Nasser as well. We got a back marker for Daniel Ricardo. Get the hell out of the way. Get the hell out of the way. Don't crash into me, please. Thank you. I've had enough back markers crashing into my drivers on Australia and in Monaco, screwing up my race. It's ridiculous. 
Can we get another race with Roman Grosjean not crashing? Well, I mean, he only spun out. Every race, there's always someone who makes a mistake or something. But Roman Grosjean in the rain. Yeah, they gotta, they gotta replace that driver. But don't worry, this is only year number two. As we get deeper into this career, you'll start to see new drivers take places once the contracts run out. All right, so Daniel Ricciardo and Rosberg, yeah, they're pretty much automatic right now. Don't know where Lewis Hamilton, there's Lewis, he's all the way back behind those back markers that we just passed. Rosberg is 16-3, Ricciardo is 16-5, Hamilton is 16-1. All right, so pretty quick there. Might have been because we got stuck behind some back markers, but um, his tire wear is at 78%. Ours are at 83 apiece, so... The strategy is working. We still have a four-second gap. It was at 3.5 before. So he probably just did a, uh, a Roman Grosjean has ran wide. Oh, my God, Grosjean. Just get it. He's got a mechanical issue as well. His car is just, just call it a day, Haas. Roman Grosjean. We just watch Roman Grosjean for a bit <laughs> until he screws up again. Oh, my God. I don't think we've seen a race without a crash from Grosjean. I know, right? It's ridiculous. Lap 26 has started. <laughs> As we have the Grosjean cam here, ladies. Oh, that's what it is. He's injured. He's injured. He shouldn't be racing. Or he might have got injured from his crash. Who knows? But he's got an injury in a low form. So he's dry. He's, his driver's stats right now are probably two-star or something. Maybe that's why. Maybe he's had an injury all season. Like a long injury that I just haven't picked up on. Oh, my God. I told you. We watch it long enough. That's why he was messing up. Mechanical issues for Roman Grosjean. And now in the rain, he is smoking, trying to get his way back. Oh, my God. Roman Grosjean. Hey, we just got to pay attention to Roman Grosjean in the rain here. The Roman Grosjean cam never uh, lets us down. He also blew his car up right after the pit lane. So he's literally like the longest trek back. Hey, Grosjean, just call it a race, buddy. It's over. You're back in 22nd, and you still have to get another pit stop and repair your car. Just call it a night. Call it a night. He's conserving. He's trying to make it back. Don't crash in anyone. Here comes all these back markers trying to get by. Don't crash in anyone. Oh, Grosjean. Oh, he's in their way. Grosjean, don't screw the race up for anyone else, buddy. Here we go. He's coming in. Let's see. Oh, this is so bad. No! Oh, my God. Just again, just like Australia. One and two. And then Daniel Ricciardo... Fucking bins it, man! Oh my god, I can't catch a goddamn break! Jesus, Ricardo! Jesus! That's the second time Daniel Ricardo crashed this season. Last season, he didn't crash at all. We had like third place in Australia, he crashes, and oh my god, driver standings. We're still gonna make up points. Oh my fucking god, man. Drop Ricardo, he's ass. Rosberg, number one driver, and yeah, don't, don't call it just yet, the race isn't over. What a fucking bum. Ricardo, man. You're in second. You got second locked up. Just as I was saying, this race weekend, everything's worked out for us. And that has to happen. I binned it. I binned it. It sucks that I couldn't go back and look at how it happened. I was on the Grosjean cam. Unbelievable, man. I wasn't even pushing. It was on neutral and neutral. You fucking bum. Get Alonzo for Ricardo. Oh, it happens, I guess. Lewis Hamilton, though, master class. Now he's up in his second with everyone else making mistakes. 8.3 seconds behind Dan uh, Nico Rosberg. Oh, my God, man. All right, well, let's fast forward here. I mean, it's pretty straightforward at the end. All right, I mean, Hamilton's not going to make up 8 seconds in 28 laps. There's no way. Let's see. Rosberg just did a 16-4. Hamilton, a 16-0. But that's him pushing and pulling back and pushing and pulling back. Oh, my God. We may have a safety car as well. What might get uh, Lewis Hamilton back on the the gearbox of uh, Nico Rosberg. I cannot believe this, man. RNG is so fun. Well, I mean, this is the simulation, right? It's like NHL when you, you put a 95 overall goaltender in the net in Game 7. He allows four goals in the first period. I mean, nothing is guaranteed in a simulation game. You do your best. You increase your odds the best. The strategy was there, but... And Ricardo, for the, I can't believe the second time this year. And we're, not, we're, only, we're only, like, we're only just halfway through the season. Last year, he didn't crash at all. This year, twice. And both races, he was in a real good spot. We had first and second in, in, in qualifying. And now first and second in the race. It was all but locked up. And he just crashes all by himself. Bins it in the rain. Ricardo runs wide when uh, wide too when it's important. Asshole. 
Oh my god, man. Yeah, we're all laughing at Roman Grosjean. Ricardo had a bigger gap. He had points and he fucked up in a Renault, which is one of the better cars on the on the grid. Haas. Oh my god. I just looked at my last subscription from Silent 13, and he said, let's get this double podium, Johnny. Fucking hell, man. Oh, that pisses me off. We've been working so hard here in Renault to get uh, get our acts together. We had the constructors on the line this season. We could win the constructors, and that happens. In a race weekend where everything's going right for us, you know, I, I ace the strategy in qualifying. We get the cars tweaked perfectly. Underfueling the car so we get some uh, some a, a gap. We got the gap. We uh, and oh, and look at the two guys who have crashed this weekend, Vettel and Ricardo. I mean, that's crazy. This has been a wild weekend here in Italy, boys. This is the kind of Grand Prix weekend that makes fans an F1 fans of people. They tune in and they see this wild shit happening. It, it pisses you. It pisses the teams off that uh, had the advantage and lost it, but it is good for the sport. And I suppose it's good for the stream as well because it shows that anything can happen. And I can't just master this game like that. You still have to get it race day, boys. I said it. We had a great qualifying, but anything could happen race day. First and second. Had the lo the race locked up. And fucking right there. He binned it right there. Where did he bend it? I think he binned it on the next chicane, right? Yeah. Came around here. I think he binned it right here. Either went like into the gravel pit right there, or he bent it right there. I think it was right there, yeah. Or was it there? I forget. Fuck. Oh, victory is never assured. Yep. Well, Hamilton is still 8.3 seconds behind. He's pushing, but he's conserving. Uh, his uh, la his tires are now at 52%. Ours are at, fi at 60. So, you know, we'll be able to push towards the end. We have the pace. I just don't know if we can win the race. Because you never know what's going to happen. I'm going to keep the cam on Rosberg right here. Uh, we're going to go times four. I got my uh, my finger on the space bar just in case something happens. All right, you know, we'll go times two. We'll see what happens here. So we got some cars going in. Ooh, hang on a second. Are we going for a change? A lot? Are we going in for the pits? We're getting... Everyone's going into the pits to get uh, hard tires on. Look at this. Hmm. The rain's coming back, though, pretty, pretty soon. The two pit stops... Two, you won't make up two pit stops worth in that. No, I don't think so, boys. No, I don't think so. I don't think so either, boys. All right, no, I'm not going in. I'm not going in. I'm going to stay out. All right, yeah, I'm going to stay out. There's no way. There's no way you make up that much time in... in. You'd have to pit twice. Hamilton, is he staying out? Hamilton's staying out. Yeah, Hamilton's doing the right thing. Interesting what those other cars are doing. Pit. Let's see. They might be, no, they're coming back out on inters. I don't know why they pit... They might, I don't know. They just got the pit in. Maybe their, uh, their tires were going to wear out. And they knew they had to get a pit, in, a pit stop in anyways, though. They just wanted to get the fresh tires on. That makes sense. If you're going to pit, pit as soon as possible. It's not about saving pace for the end of the race. You want to have all your pace up front and then just get to the end. Uh, yeah, so they're all staying out on intermediates. So we're fine. The tires were just bad. Yeah. Tires might have been bad. And they know if they have to change anyways, just change now because there's only 12 laps to go. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because there's no grip on the track, and the rain is coming right back, which means it's one thing to switch and make that one stop, but it's another thing to make a switch and then to switch back. You'd lose so much time. That'd be like 36 seconds that you'd lose. You wouldn't make up 36 seconds in four laps, three laps. No way. Hamilton is too OP in this game. Yeah, Hamilton hasn't crashed at all this season, boys, but he's Lewis Hamilton. He's master class, the British man. I mean, I'm not going to get angry that Lewis Hamilton is a beast driver in a sim game. Who's, who should be better than him? Fernando Alonso may be able to compete, but uh, we're going to have to we're gonna have to put him in a championship car. I'll tell you, I'm going to have to choose between Ricardo and Rosberg. It might be whoever finishes the season with more points. Ricardo, I'm really pissed off about that. Uh, fuel boys, we got 12 laps remaining. 12 times .06, please. We should be good. 10 times .06 would be .6. So, so yeah, we're, we're good for fuel. I know we're good for fuel. There we go. 0 0.72. Yeah, so we're good for fuel, boys. I'm just going to save it just in case. And if uh, if uh, Hamilton does get close, then I'll put it in there. George Russell has crashed. Remember, we may have a safety car as well, which will bring the whole pack up there. George Russell has crashed, but no safety car. Thank God. Just keep on... 
I can't. Are you fucking kidding me? Holy fuck! I had one, two, and they both bit it? You have got- I'm firing both of these fucking knuckleheads. What a joke. What a joke. I can't believe this shit. That kind of weekend we get. So in Australia, they both bin it, essentially. And here in Monza, they both bin it. On fucking believable, man. On fucking real. A 1 2 finish in qualifying. We get out in front. The strategy is freaking aced. I'm paying a million dollars per these stupid ass drivers. And they both bin it with nobody around them. All they have to do is drive. All they have to do is drive. And they both bin it. On real. On fucking real. Unreal, boys. Oh, I, I, I don't even know what to say right now. Lewis Hamilton. Lewis Hamilton reclaims first place. And there you go, constructors. Bye-bye, constructors. We're getting two points on the day. Wow, our fastest lap may actually hold out. We might get, we might get the fastest fucking lap points. Nico Ross, we're going to get two points on the day. 30. Oh, my God. I can't even. I'm sick. I can't even speak right now. I'm disgusted. Fucking hell. Everything was shaping up so well. And then the... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you know what? I'm going to get a fucking freezing. I need a sugar rush. Fucking piece of shit. Piece of shite, game. Garbage. Rest in peace, lap. Rest in peace. Lost the lap. Oh, I lost the fastest lap as well now. Who? Oh, yeah, of course. Lewis Hamilton get it. Max Verstappen get it. No, Brendan Hartley got it. 14 points. Great. Brendan Hartley back there. He lost the fastest lap. I can't believe that shit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is motorsport. You never know what's going to happen. That's why you got to finish every single race. I'm beginning to hate the rain in this mod. Oh, my God. That is crazy. You laughed at him, and now he laughs at you. Lewis Hamilton, what a beast. He's going to have to get a pit stop in, but he's got a free pit stop. He's got a 20-second gap over uh, Verstappen. We would have had these guys. They were pushing their tires. We were conserving our tires. We were way out in front. They would have had to get two pit stops. I could have just taken it to the end. Man, how do I tell them to drive? Like, how do I tell them to conserve? I wasn't even pushing. I was in neutral. I can understand crashing in the, um, the aggressive or the overtake. I can understand crashing in the rain. But damn, two of my drivers? When I have one, two? And two drivers that I pay a lot of money to. Like, they're, they're supposed to be good drivers, man. That's just really unlucky. Both drivers crash on neutral, too. I know. Do I need to be in conserve? Because then my tires just go down. Uh, fast forward. Yeah, I guess so, right? Yeah. Lewis Hamilton going into the pits. I am disgusted with myself right now. Well, not my... I'm just disgusted. Oh my god. Hamilton into the pits, comes out on those intermediates. And he's got it. I wonder, Verstappen now, yeah, Verstappen's going to pass Gasly. Unless Gasly can go to the end on those tires. Lance Stroll is spawned. Good. Everyone's just spinning out. Yeah, at least they, they, they just, I would have I been okay with a spin out. I might have been able to recover and still beat Hamilton. But no, two bins. Two fucking bins. As, look, Verstappen's pushing. He's pushing hard and he's using fuel. Why isn't he crashing? <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, so I wonder. Are they going to let Gasly? You don't want to pit Gasly. You want to keep him out on front of Hartley. Gasly's 19 with... Uh, oh, they're going to they're gonna have to pit him. Are they going to let uh, Verstappen pass Gasly? Team orders? Let's see. He's got the pace. Yep, there they go. Team orders. Letting Verstappen get in this driver's championship. And with that pass, he's now in third ahead of Ricardo and Rosberg. Who both now fail to finish two races on the year. It's like we've gone into the season with two races le uh, less than every other team. We crashed both drivers in Australia. And both drivers crashed in freaking uh, in Monza. Here in Monza. Oh, it's unbelievable. Mm. This will cool me down. <laughs> Gotta look at available drivers? No, no, no. It's just unlucky. 
We've been having a good season so far. Oh, I know this is unprofessional, boys, but I don't care. My driver can't be professional. Why the fuck should I be? Hmm. joke. Fucking joke. Hartley is spun. Erickson is spun. It's a big crash here. Oh my god. Everyone's spinning out here in the rain, man. <laughs> Crazy. Good way to look at it, Johnny. Exactly. Uh, still plenty of races to make it up. Uh, they're, they're, you're right if our car was one of the best cars. Our car is, like, clearly lacking pace against the Mercedes and the Ferrari. And now the Red Bull. Um, but this is one of the tracks that we actually do have an advantage. The top speed. Where we're ahead of Mercedes. And we just threw it away. We threw it away. There's plenty of tracks upcoming where top speed is not one of the, you know, one of the benefits, advantages for a track. So we're going to get smoked on those tracks. So we're going to lose more points there. We needed to make up the points now. This was the track to get the points, and we just screwed the pooch. Sean Gale oh my god, everyone is spinning into these corners. Jeez Louise, these back markers, man. Holy crap. The changing conditions with these rookie-ass drivers, they can't do shit. Alright, so where is he? Lewis Hamilton, after a horrible start, horrible strategy as well in qualifying, just made it into Q1. Then, did not get the right lap. Fell down to 11th, I think, at some point in this race. And with a little luck with Renault's reliability issues or the shitty driving, once again, Lewis Hamilton, the British man! Get in there, Lewis! There it is! There it is, get in there, Lewis. Verstappen in second. He's coming around. That's a, that's a missed opportunity for Red Bull and Max Verstappen. He clearly had the pace this race, but... Qualifying again, an issue, and dropping back. And Pierre Gasly, the Red Bull, second Red Bull. Red Bull getting second and third today. That's a big day for Red Bull. They could be on their way back. Uh, Hartley in fourth for Mercedes. Lance Stroll in the friggin' racing point coming around in fifth. This is embarrassing. Lance Stroll in fifth. Kimi Raikkonen in sixth. Uh, Sergio Perez. Perez, what are you going in for? You gotta finish the race. You can't go into the pits yet. All these guys crash. Oh no, the race is over. That's what it is. Right, they went around with uh, Lewis. Oh my God, get in there, Lewis. Yeah, he's in there, boys. Once again, weren't they at uh, 12th and 17th? Grosjean is the definition of elite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This could have been our weekend, man. Scrutineering. Fucking hell. Let's see. Well, everything looks fine. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen. Oh, Sauber with the illegal parts and uh, <laughs> Alpine Racing. Wow, Formula One's a prick. Just let Rome uh, Alfa Romeo and Alpine get back up here and be a little competitive. Jesus. Oh, we lose third overall to Max Verstappen in Red Bull Racing. Great. And we are still in second, but now 60 points below Mercedes. 60 fucking points. It would have been a huge weekend. We could have been we could have been ahead in the constructors. Unreal. And here comes Red Bull. The Red Bull's actually ahead of Ferrari right now. Ferrari is just horrible, dude. Ferrari's down there at 151 points. Red Bull, though. Watch out for Red Bull. If they continue to get second thirds like that, watch out. Do you lose your parts from crashes? Uh, no. It should be fine. Uh, the, the, what's it called? The guys will, uh, just, they'll work on it. It might take a little longer to actually get them back to full reliability, but they'll be back in a few days. Don't worry. We have a very good, uh, headquarters here in Renault. Traits. Cracked rib. Oh, Daniel Ricciardo, while well, I was making fun of him, oh, you know, I, I could lose him. Damn, racing is real dangerous. His cornering now is minus eight, and his fitness is minus four for the next week. The x-rays revealed a bit of a crack. Yikes, man. Yikes. Re replace Ricciardo for the next race? No, I think he'll be all right. He'll still just have to deal with it. We're not putting Carla Druin in there. Uh, Nico Rosberg. All right, Nico. You did, you did well as well. 2.8. Fucking bend it. Both did fantastic for me. Oh, da -na 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 -na. Pit crew. I actually have one room for pit crew, so... This guy, 99 stamina with 0% mistakes. Yeah, I'll sign you. There you go. I'll hold on to you. I'm gonna reject you. I'm gonna reject you. And I'm going to reject you. 
All right, the pit crew. Let me just get these guys all sorted out for the next race. Uh, you can come on up here. You can come on up here. 88, 96, 91, 90. Good. Oh my god, this guy's got to change up though. That ain't good enough for for the tires. There you go. And this is the one, guys. Or anyone that we have full health. There. All right. So there's the pit crew taken care of. Staff, driver. So you guys want to know what kind of drivers are available? Uh, if I sort by ability, yeah, Fernando Alonso technically is better than Lewis Hamilton. All right, take a look at those stats. Boom. Now, I wonder why we crashed. Let's see. If I take a look at our stats, was it consistency or was it adaptability? No, I mean, those are fine. Consistency and adaptability. I think adaptability is for changing uh, weather conditions. And consistency is just how consistent you are over the course of the race. Uh, I'm balling like style. I appreciate it. Elseworld Cheetah as well. Silent Night. All of you guys, if I forgot about it, I'm sorry. Fitness is low because he's injured, and cornering is low because he's injured. Rosberg, I mean, they should be fine in the rain, man. They should be absolutely fine in the rain. If you look at Lewis Hamilton, what's his, uh, it's 18 and 18. Yeah, they should be fine in the rain. That's so bad. So when you look at the driver standings, look at Ricardo and Rosberg in Australia, the very first race of the year. Zero points each. All right, they've been very consistent all throughout the rest of the season. They've had some crashes, but they were able to get back into the points. We've had points all throughout. Belgium, Rosberg fell off a little bit because of that uh, that one crash. And now in Italy again, nothing. And look at Lewis Hamilton at the top. Fucking first place, first place, first place, first place, first place, first place. One second, one third, and then one fourth, I think. The guy just does not crash. Unbelievable. All right. Johnny, give one of these guys a chance. Well, all these guys are signed. It would have to be somebody who's not signed. There's no point in signing. I can get this guy. Takumu Sato. For one race. Ambitious, shifting careers. Get him for one race. But the thing is, if I were to sign this guy, approach driver. Interested. So here we go. Reserve driver. All right. End of 2020. So it's the end of this year. It's going to cost me an extra signing fee. I don't want to sign you at all. All right. If you get, if you can get first or better, I'll give you a nice little bonus. All right, there you go. In fact, since it's only that much, if you can get a podium, all right, it's only that much. Uh, signing fee. Let's see. I got 16 million. Uh, I'll give you a 1.5. All right, man. Eh. It's basically costing the next race. I want to see if I can get them. Signing fee isn't very important. He's saying so. 750. There you go. 750. You're getting short, you're getting a reserve driver, and I'm not paying you at all. I don't want to pay you per race, because this is going to cost per race. doesn't matter if he's racing or not. So, 299. All right, you want to race Formula 1? You want to get the chance there, Takuma Sato? All right, let's go. Uh, 2020. Yep. Reserve. I'm just double-checking everything. All right, there you go. We're going to see if we can get him signed. All right, so Milan pole goes to Ricardo. Car condition update. All right, so those guys, well, that wasn't really the ideal weekend from our point of view. We're going to be working on the cars for a while. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Interview, oh, here we go. Lewis Hamilton demolished the competition last race, crossing the finish line with a gap of 66.72 seconds. You think Formula One is becoming too predictable? Are you, did you watch the fucking race there? Fuck, it wasn't predictable. We had one, oh, you stupid idiot. Uh, Lewis Hamilton just got lucky today. This was an anomaly. Uh, uh, no, not at all. Today was a fantastic display of engineering. You know what? I don't want to say that. I don't want to piss off Lewis Hamilton. Don't need to make him any angrier. There you go. No, I'm not pissing off Lewis. Cracked rib. Hey, boss. Just went for an x-ray. The doctors have told me I have a cracked rib. I must have picked it up after the crash in the last race. Man, it hurts. Stupid idiot. You deserve for binning it. Crash heavy race in Milan calls for stronger safety precautions. We don't need stronger safety precautions. We need better damn drivers. All right. Car repair complete. Car is back. We're fine. Uh, all right. So improving parts. I think. Yeah, I remember that now. We're still trying to fully improve. Yeah, there you go. So get you, get you, get you, get you, uh, get you, get you. But I still want to get. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Both of these seven days before. And that should be every racing part fully upgraded for the season in seven days. So we're going to have our car maxed out in seven days for this season. But we also have the illegal car parts coming. Oh, we have a vote. All right, here we go. Politics, boys. What should we do? Uh, championship target. This is currently better than our target of third. All right, well, I want first. 
A uh, new vote has started. A new vote has begun at the uh, GMA. This time it's around 57 lap races on average. All right, so politics. Uh, what do we got right now? I don't even know. This was faster, right? I think we had long races. This is shorter races. What do you guys think? Should we go shorter or longer? I don't even really care. It'll be about the same for us. Uh, how much voting power do I have? I want to save my voting power as well. So I'm going to abstain this. I'm going to abstain this. No longer. Don't vote. Yeah, I'm not going to vote for this one. I'm going to abstain. All right, so I'll save my vote for next one. Let's see what happens. Total Wolf is against it. Yeah, they said that the uh, the shittier teams would like something like this. <laughs> Ferrari needs it because they're chassis. <laughs> Ah, beautiful. Frederick Fasur. Gunther Steiner. Claire Williams. Not Doesn't look like it's being... Oh, this guy put two votes down. No. All right, so it looks like we're keeping the exact same uh, lap times. I think the next one we have is refueling. Yeah, I'm voting no against that sucker. Hell no, we're not having refueling in, in Formula 1. I like it the way it is. We are on our way to becoming a, uh, a powerhouse. I'm not changing up the rules. Singapore. Oh, Singapore's next. Boring track. See, this is a track now where we're going to get smoked by the Mercedes. Because it's so tight, qualifying, they'll get out in front, and we'll have no chance. Fuck, we left. We let such a, a great opportunity pass us by. Factory staff is idle, race mechanics. Uh, ooh, we could, we could improve our race mechanics, really? Uh, staff, let's see. They're not bad, they're four-star. Relax there, Lilith. <laughs> a little talking shit about our race mechanics. We might need to get new ones apparently at the end of the off season or at the end of the year. Um, improved parts. All right, so I think we have everything unlocked now. Yep, yeah, we got all the best parts ready to go. Yeah, so we don't even need to improve anything else. Uh, but I will let these guys just work on something. Why not? There you go. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. Stop working on shit. Because when the illegal car parts come in, that's what we'll be working on. All right, so that's good. And she's right around the corner. Let's go. Here we go. Contract proposal to uh, Takuma Sato. Contract re renegotiation he wants. He does not like his uh, contract length, and he does not like his uh, cost per race. Listen, my man, I'm trying to save some money. All right? I will give you 479 That's all you get. All right? If he doesn't sign, he doesn't sign. There you go. 479 I can accept it or get the hell out of here. Uh, he is looking for that four-month contract. That's all I'm going for. Uh, okay. Let's get to our illegal car part. There it is. All right, so we've designed our illegal gearbox, boys. Nasser hated by own mechanics. <laughs> I wonder why. The F1 may not be a popularity contest, but it generally helps if drivers aren't completely despised by their mechanics. Over at Scuderia Ferrari, things are getting nasty. Nasser is a complete prat. <laughs> he lives in La La Land. What do you get? What do you expect when you get paid millions a year? Oh my God, Nasser is just just a toxic cancer for Ferrari, uh, Singapore. Yeah, all right, come on, let's get to the. There you go. All right, so the gearbox is done, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Lilith. Boom. All right, so when you take a look at the gearbox, it's a big ass gearbox. Look at that, super illegal, super. The the risk of a rule break is high, but look at the extra performance that we have. Eleven fifty. All right. So that 1150 is a boost up from 920. So we've gone up more than 200 here for this next year's uh, for next year's uh, parts. All right, so we want to make sure we want to put it all the way into performance so we get that thing up to 190. All right, so if I also go back to my car now, there you go. See our acceleration with that boost up to uh, 1150. We see it all the way up there. Now it may not be the best um, gearbox, but it's putting us in a spot where for next season we can get that push. Low speed corners, we have the best low speed corners now. So our car is, uh, yeah, our car is looking good. Fourth best on the grid still, but you can see the improvements. All right. So let's get the new part. We already got the legendary gearbox done. Next up, the brakes. All right. Uh, so let's see what kind of illegal part we want this time. I'm going to want you deceleration plus 50. Uh, deceleration minus 20 to the max, but a plus 40. So it's a plus 20 net. I'll grab that for now. Plus 50 on soft supers and ultras. That's not bad. You'll do a lot of the season on those tires, but let's just wait. Uh, deceleration plus 40 to the max. And then 25 and 20. Yeah, that's the one I want. Because I want the uh, deceleration on inters and wets as well, just in case. All right? You only have one gearbox. Yeah, I know. Um, okay, I'll get to that in a second. So that's the uh, 
the brakes that I'm going to build. It's going to take 33 days after the race. Yeah, so we got the. We might only be able to get one more thing done, but uh, that's okay. We need this done. Our brakes will be number one for next year. Arms missing. Making sure I'm not missing any great uh, stats. Now we're good. All right, 1.3 million for that. There you go. All right. So why can't I get the legendaries? Uh, because I don't have uh, the legendary upgrades to my headquarters just yet. I can pay for it, my breaks, but it's going to cost 12 mil. Uh, I'll do that next season or a year after. Once you get to the legendary, you can really start to dominate. Uh, but we just don't quite have the money. And our staff, Lilith, she only has known components of average, great, and epic. She doesn't have a legendary known component. All right. But you can unlock that. But I just, I don't think we need that to be competitive. We're... That's more of like if you're like a really shit team, put all your money into your headquarters and then get that huge boost one season and you'll see your car just grow. Uh, but we're there. All right. So I figure with our car, we'll boost the acceleration up and uh, the one car part, right? So yeah, the one gearbox. The reason the one gearbox is fine is because once next season starts, before the first race, I'll be able to design a average engine part that will be a boost to the illegal part that we're bringing over to next season so you'll have two parts that are very similar all right don't worry about that all right so taking care of that that's going to yep it's going to increase gearbox is designed traveling to singapore ladies and gentlemen all right so our car yeah our car's looking good i gotta say i'm liking the way our car looks but that's it right yeah our car is already has full performance uh, looks like we're not going to be able to get Sato signed before the next race. Unfortunate, we're in Singapore. Uh, perhaps close to... Is he Japanese? That's not the Japanese Grand Prix. That is coming up later on. Let's see. Yeah, well, who, who, who was he? Hang on. Yeah, he's Japanese. So, if you want to sign with us, my man, uh, the Japanese Grand Prix is two away. But Danny Rick might be back for that. This is your chance to get in Formula 1. He doesn't want it. Alright, well, too bad. Part fitting, let me just make sure the right uh, car parts are in there. Brakes, alright, very good. Engine part, yeah. Front wing, oh yeah. Front wing is now the best, see the purple? The best front wing in the uh, on the grid, so that's real good for us. We're starting to get that pace. We are. The gearbox, 1172. It's grew even more because I put some performance into it, so again, the gearbox going up even more. Our gearbox is worse than Toro Rosso, though. But our top speed is there. We just got to get the... Oh, man. We're almost... We almost... Next year's going to be so good for Renault. I know all of this struggling right now in year number two. It's going to make year number three that much better when we're just dominating up top, boys. It's going to be so good. All right. So I'm going to save it. That is one race weekend done. And uh, I'm also done with Motorsport Manager. Fuck, man. I'm not going through that again. Another one, Johnny? Nope, nope, not going through that again. That really pissed me off. I can't have that happen a second time.